All right, guys, welcome back. So I am primarily a leaner when I'm saddle hunting. If I was to give you a percentage of how often I lean versus sit, I'd say probably somewhere around 80 to 85% of the time I am leaning, depending on how long the hunt is. And I contribute that largely to the fact that when I started saddle hunting, I didn't have any knee pads and I didn't have a pad to put around the tree. And so essentially I would lean instead of putting my knees on the tree. And then later I started using my backpack as a buffer between my knees and the tree. Uh, I would hang the backpack and I'd plant my knees down here around the lumbar support and that would help and that would work. But what happened last year was I was hunting in Missouri with a buddy and I had a beautiful mature 10 point coming in kind of off behind me and down into a ravine. And it really caused me to push away from the tree and crank, crank really hard behind me and then also down. And by me pushing my weight off the tree, the backpack, the pressure of that push slid the backpack on the bark and it was enough noise to alert that buck that something was amiss. And so he stopped and started looking up towards me and eventually he kept moving. But instead of taking the trail that would be about 15 yards from me, he dropped on down one more ravine and there he would just sit there, lick his nose. He was scent checking, trying to figure out what was going on. And then eventually he just turned around and walked, walked out of the ravine. And so I never got an opportunity. And I thought to myself, I said, that's the last time I'm doing that. I said, I'm getting myself a set of knee pads. And so what I have here is the trophy line knee savers and also the tethered knee pads. And I'm going to take a little bit of time. I've had these for a little bit now. I've been spending some time with them and I'm going to break these guys down and I'm going to give you some information. That way, if you're in the market to get some knee pads and you're thinking about either of these two knee pads, then hopefully this review will help you out. So one of the biggest and the more glaring differences between Trophy Line and Tethered is the price tag. Trophy Line comes in at $29.99, Tethered comes in at $69.99. And so for me personally, when I see a price difference, I just simply ask myself, are we comparing apples to apples or apples to oranges, right? And so both of them are knee pads, but does that mean they're made of the same quality of foam? Does that mean they're made of the same quality materials? You know, the same thing with backpacks. I have a Badlands here. There are a ton of great backpack companies out here. I could go all the way up the chain to Kafaro or all the way down the chain to a Walmart backpack, you know? And so you have to ask yourself, are we comparing apples to apples? And so hopefully in this review, we'll be able to determine, you know, the differences between these pads. And then you can make a decision whether or not the differences are worth the price tag. One other thing that I would throw out there uh, between these two companies is Tethered does true shipping cost. And so if you live in the same state and it costs $3 to ship these, $3 it is. Uh, Trophy Line, they do a flat rate shipping of $12. And so I live in Pennsylvania. They're from Pennsylvania. It costs me $12 to get these shipped to my house. And essentially, I think my overall price tag with tax was like $44, somewhere right around there. So keep that in mind as well about the shipping cost. But again, $29.99 and $69.99. When comparing just the size difference between tethered and trophy line pads, when you measure tethered from the top point to the bottom point, it is eight and a quarter inches high. Trophy line comes in at eight and three quarter inches high. So they are a half an inch taller. In regards to the width, just measured from the widest point to the widest point, tethered is five and a half inches wide and trophy line is six inches wide. And so Trophy Line is pretty much a half an inch taller, a half an inch wider. But when we put these on the scale, you will notice that the tethered knee pads, both of them together, they come in at 11.6 ounces. Trophy Line comes in at 8.8 .8 ounces. And so even though Trophy Line's bigger, they weigh less than the tethered knee pads. They have bigger buckles. They're bigger in general. They have an outer cloth material and yet they still weigh less than tethered knee pads. And I think for me, what that speaks of is just the density of foam that tethered is using on their pads. They boast that their pads have twice the amount of foam. And just from a weight standpoint, it seems like that's true in regards to these two different pads. Again, 11.6 ounces and 8.8 .8 ounces in weight. Let's just talk about the material that these are constructed of. Right away, when you look at Trophy Lines knee pads, you can see that they have wrapped their foam in a cloth material. On the front, it's camel. On the back, it's black. 
And then right here on the front, they have sewed a piece of rubber that has little traction grips on that rubber. And then of course you have the buckles in which you attach the knee pads to your leg. As far as tethered knee pads, everything that you see that's black, that is the foam. The foam is exposed. And then on the front of their knee pads, they have a thermoform plastic, okay, that's very, very flexible. It moves back and forth, it twists, and that is designed to assimilate any movement that you might be doing in the tree, bending your knee, straightening your leg, twisting, turning. And so it's very, very flexible. But as you get into the center here, you'll notice the honeycomb pattern, but in the middle, it's hard. It's not as flexible. The whole pad, you can still squeeze it and flex it, but this is really, really hard. And that comes into play pretty big, I feel, when you are putting your knee against rugged bark or bark such as a cottonwood. And I'll talk about that a little bit later when we compare them sitting and their comfort when we're sitting. Also, you'll see that traction control attempt right there. What I have noticed about these knee pads is this, with the traction on the tree, I put them on there and I try to move, try to shift my body weight and do all that stuff. And what I have found is that there's a certain amount of pressure that you can put where your, your leg will just slide off to the side of both of these knee pads. And so I don't know how much it really comes into play, the traction on these things. I do know that they both have traction. I've tried to tried to shift it and push it and move it and, and they do hold to the tree nicely. But uh, how big of a factor that plays into the overall, you know, comfort of your knee pads and being able to move, I'm not too sure. Now, one other thing in regards to their make, let me just point out to you and show you the sizes of their buckle. Trophy Lines buckle compared to Tethered's buckle right here. As you can see, Tethered's buckle is probably half as big as Trophy Lines. Now, the positive thing for Trophy Line is they put their buckle system on top of the foam so you don't fear, feel any leg interference. Uh, Tethered's buckle does attach right on the leg, but I think because it's so streamlined, you don't really feel it that much. When I got these two knee pads and I put them side by side, immediately you, you can see that Tethered's knee pad just kind of screams knee pad. Everything about it looks like a knee. Uh, from the, the outer portion here being concaved all the way into where your kneecap would actually be. Um, and you can see that there is some type of um, form or ergonomic fit that's designed for a leg on the top portion of the trophy line knee pads. But really this inner oval where the knee pad itself exists, where it's sewn right here, um, I really didn't think that that was as ergonomic as the tethered, tethered knee pad. And it really wasn't until I kind of begin to dissect the trophy line knee pad and I'll show you what I mean. Um, you can see again this inner oval. You can see that that's right here as well. And so at first glance it, it looked like it was all flat, just one piece of, of foam and that trust me that's better than nothing. But it, it just didn't kind of fit the ergonomics of a knee. You know your kneecap sticks out a little bit further so on and so forth. And so I started feeling around and I felt like I felt an indentation, so I opened up this little fold right here, and I began to feel around, and I pulled this out of the other one. Essentially, what Trophy Line has done, and I'll see if I'll focus on you up front here, what they've done is they've taken this little foam piece, and they slid it in that pouch, and they have it down here at the bottom portion of the knee pad. And so up here at the top of that inner oval, that's at a different, a different height, if you would, than where your leg's going to be hitting right here. And so from the top of that fold up to the top of the oval, that's where your kneecap's actually going to be. So there is some type of indentation or depth, if I could use that word, for your kneecap. And so, I, you know, at first I wasn't impressed, but then when I realized what they were doing, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And when you're sitting on the tree, you can feel that. And so I did like that. And you just can't see it up front like you can see with uh, tethered knee pads. The next two areas that I will kind of compare these knee pads together in is what do they feel like on your leg when you're walking into your stand or you're just standing? And then what do they feel like when you're sitting, which is primarily what they're designed to be used for. And so what I've noticed is this, that, that you can walk with these knee pads on. Me, because I lean the majority of the time, I'm not walking to the tree with knee pads. I'll simply tuck the knee pads in my backpack 
And if I get done leaning and I want to sit, then I'll just pull them out, throw them on my leg, and I'll, I'll sit. So I'm never going to walk with these knee pads on. But for those that do walk with your knee pads on, um, just, just something that I've noticed, just a, a quick notice. And, and I, it's just by default of the design of these knee pads is, is when I have the trophy line knee pads on and they're strapped to my leg, essentially I can take my hand and I can slip it in beside or in, in between the pad and my knee there. So really the only portion of the knee pads that are touching are down here where the straps are. And again, it's just by nature of, of their design. Um, but I notice that when I'm, when I'm just standing there or even walking with the tethered knee pads, I think by nature of the design of this bottom portion and the fact that this, this bottom portion is so flexible, when I am just standing there, the pad is touching my leg, leg at the bottom portion, it's touching my leg here, and then also is touching my kneecap. And so there's no additional room where it's bulging off of my leg. And again, for me, somebody that sits, it's not a big deal because I'm not walking with the knee pads anyway. But if you do, that might be something that, that you want to consider. Um, by design, this just kind of fits to your leg when you're standing or walking a little bit better than the trophy line knee pads does. Now, in regards to sitting, this is where a knee pad should shine. This is where you're using it is when you're sitting against a tree. And to be honest, both trophy line and tethered knocked it out of the park when it comes time to sitting in, in the tree. Um, when you sit with the trophy line knee pad, you'll notice that that little indentation, that extra eighth of an inch pad that's down at the lower portion, it allows your kneecap to sink in just a little bit further. Um, there's some padding there. And then you'll notice that these top wings of the trophy line knee pads, they kind of just wrap around the, the upper edge of your knee. And so it fits on there very, very nicely. Um, as long as the same is true with tethered, you put these on and they just fit your knee very, very nicely. And so they both honestly knocked it all out of the park when it comes time to how they feel when you're in the sitting position. Now, one thing I'm not used to yet, and I'll throw this out uh, to anybody that might be getting knee pads for the first time like me, and that is I am not used to having something on my knee. And as I've been out here in between 60 and 80 degree weather, when you have knee pads on, man, my, my legs start to sweat. And so I'm going to have to get used to that or figure out a remedy for that. But while you're sitting in both of these, they are both ergonomic or they both contour your leg as you would expect a knee pad to do. Now, this is one area that I'm going to point out that I noticed and that I have messed around the most and just kind of going back and forth between these two pads. Um, we're, we talked about the price point and how... Tethered's knee pads are $69.99. These are $29.99 plus $12 flat rate shipping. And Tethered boasts that the foam is denser, which again, with the weight difference, I would say yes, they have a more dense foam. But one thing I noticed about Tethered's pads that kind of makes a big difference when you're in the sitting position is this thermoform plastic right here. It's very, it's very flexible, but it's also very, very hard. And when you're on a smooth tree, like this tree right here, I'd consider it rel relatively smooth. Um, you really don't feel anything, but I climb and I shoot out of this tree right here and I had to cut a branch. And when I hung my bow holder and my platform right where my knees hit, there's a knob where I cut a branch out. And I, so I got to playing around with them to see what the difference is on aggressive bark or smooth bark. On smooth bark, it is what it is, um, you know, there's not, not really a difference, but when you get to a tree with aggressive bark, this hard outer shell, it doesn't matter if I put my knee right on the cut limb. It doesn't matter if I'm climbing a cottonwood with really thick bark, uh, whatever it is. I even took this knee pad and I was in, the, in my house and I put it on it and I, I pushed it into the corner of my door jam and I put a lot of pressure on it just to feel. And no matter what bark you're on, no matter if you're on a knot in a tree, it doesn't matter. You do not feel the bark. You do not feel the knot of the tree. You don't feel anything. Essentially, with the tethered knee pads, you're, you're only feeling the foam. And so I, I, that really stood out to me whenever I was going back and forth. I've tried several different barks with uh, the trophy line and aggressive bark. If I went on the edge of it, you could feel that digging in. Now, again, it's padded but you could still feel that knot. You could still feel the limb that I cut off. And so, you know, um, when you compare apples to apples, uh, that's one thing. If you compare apples to oranges, that's another thing. And so this area right here is 
one area that I would say you're not comparing apples to apples just in the design and the function because of this hard outer shell and the double layer of foam or the thicker foam when you're in a sitting position again it doesn't matter what your knee is against you don't feel it all you feel at all times in the tethered knee pad is the foam as with all the gear that I use I try to be objective and critical and I think that there's room for improvement on both of these knee pads if you're going to offer a $44, $43 knee pad with shipping, um, I think that Trophy Line could do a better job at making this a little bit more ergonomic. There's some extra material that you really don't need. They could, they could use a smaller buckle system and you know still keep it at a good price point. As far as tethered, there's one thing that I have that I could suggest, and I don't, don't know unless I was to grind it down and do it myself to find out, but there's one area that I would suggest that they might be able to do some testing on, and that is to put a flat spot right in the center of this hard shape. Because with this being a hard shape, or a hard plastic in a round shape, when you have a round tree and a round shape knee pad, there's very little surface area that's actually touching when your knee's on the tree, and I found that, that the tethered knee pad has a tendency to rock. Now, when I have both knees knees on the tree and I'm sitting there, they don't sit there and rock. But if I have one knee on the tree and I'm kind of leaning off or pushing off because there's so little surface area that's touching the tree, they have a tendency to rock. Is it to make it or break it for me? No, I, I feel like as of now, the knee pads that I have, tethered is the Cadillac. But I think experimenting with making a surface area that would be flat that would eliminate some of that rock. I think it would go a long way. Uh, who knows? All right, guys, let me go over a few final thoughts. Uh, as you can see, $29.99, $69.99, um, $12 flat rate shipping, true cost shipping. Is the price difference worth it? I think there's a lot of factors that go into the price difference. Um, if you're a leaner and you only sit 10% of the time, and if that, then you might not need to get the Cadillac of the knee pads. But if you're a sitter and you sit 50, 60, 70 plus percent of the time, then you might want to get the Cadillac of the knee pads, and that's the tethered knee pads. Just by looking at it, Trophy Line knee pads are a half an inch taller, a half an inch wider. Uh, they have more of a, a rectangle shape to it, whereas the tethered knee pads, they have an ergonomic look to it that screams knee pad. Uh, the tethered knee pads, they are very, very flexible, which comes into play when you, you're walking with these knee pads or even standing with the knee pads, they're just more flexible uh, to the movement of a leg. And also, you know, in the sitting position, both of them are very, very ergonomic when you're in the sitting position. Uh, I think the thing that stands out to me the most about the tethered knee pads is it does not matter the surface that your knee pad is on, you will never feel that surface. You only feel the foam. The foam is super, super dense, it's heavy. The tethered knee pads weigh more than the Trophy Line knee pads, even though Trophy Line is bigger. And so again, that, that is talking to the density of the foam. And then this hard outer shell just really makes it nice whenever you're on a, a larger bark or a more aggressive bark system. Again, I tried it out on the door jam of my house. And no matter the surface that your leg's against, you don't feel the surface. All you feel is the foam. So if you're a sitter, the majority of the time, I would consider maybe taking a peek at the tethered knee pads. Again, as always, if there's something that I haven't gone over or if you have a question in regards to both of these knee pads, drop them in the comments below and I will do everything I can to answer that question. Until next time, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.